My name is Kelsey Beavers and I am a PhD candidate in the Midlars lab in the Department of Biology. Today I'll be presenting my research on the lineage specific and plastic gene expression patterns associated with disease resistance in coral. In the Midlars lab we study Cnidarian immunity and we direct most of our research into studying immune genes within reef building stony corals. These animals exist as holobionts made up of three distinct members, the coral animal, symbiotic algae that live within the coral tissue, and a rich and dynamic microbiome. Stability of this holobiont is crucial to maintaining coral health. However, this is difficult in the face of climate change because anthropogenic disturbances can throw off this homeostasis, which is likely a major contributor to the dramatic rise in coral disease outbreaks since the 70s. And that brings me to the focus of my dissertation, Stony Coral Tissue Loss Disease, SCILD for short. Skittle D is the most severe coral disease outbreak on record, and we haven't been able to identify a cause for this disease, but histopathology has implicated a viral infection of the symbiont. So we wanted to figure out what is going on within these coral cells and why some species and individual colonies perform better than others. In April of 2019, we set up a disease transmission experiment in which five species were exposed to Skittle D and mesocosms. And after 12 days, we measured disease phenotypes such as lesion growth rate and relative risk of infection. And we saw a spectrum of both disease severity and susceptibility across species. Corals were labeled as either disease exposed if they never developed lesions or disease infected if they did. At the end of the experiment, I extracted RNA from each fragment for mRNA sequencing and utilized a phylogenetic ANOVA called EVE to identify 94 genes with significant lineage-specific expression and 275 genes with significant plastic expression. From the lineage-specific genes, we wanted to ask whether any of these were correlated to our disease parameters and could be responsible for species-level differences in susceptibility. And we found four genes highly correlated to relative risk and eight genes highly correlated to lesion growth rate. Species with low relative risk and lesion growth rates exhibited higher expression of genes involved in vesicle mediated transport, such as carboxypeptidase D, cytoplasmic dynine heavy chain one, and transmembrane protein 222. On the other hand, species with high relative risk and lesion growth rates exhibited lower expression of genes involved in growth factor receptor binding, such as the palmetal transferase and the EH domain containing protein 1. Uh, on the other hand, from the plastic genes, we wanted to ask whether the expression of these could be respons responsible for colony or genotype level disease resistance. We found multiple genes involved in viral response, inflammation, and reactive oxygen species scavenging that were significantly different between the disease exposed and the disease infected corals with higher relative expression in the corals that developed lesions. Additionally, we found one mitochondrial gene involved in necrosis that was upregulated in disease exposed corals but downregulated in disease infected corals. So overall, our results indicate that Skittle D resistant species are increasing vesicle mediated transport to their endosymbionts, potentially while decreasing genes involved in cell proliferation. On the other hand, our results also indicate that Skittle D resistant colonies are increasing DNA damage induced necrosis, but have lower relative expression of genes involved in a canonical innate immune response. These results are surprising because you would assume that cells exhibiting necrosis would be worse off than ones mounting an immune response, but perhaps there is more to the story that involves some kind of immune trade-off. I'm currently analyzing the gene expression of the endosymbionts as well to uncover their role in this disease. So that concludes my poster presentation. I would love to answer any questions and welcome any feedback that you may have. Thank you very much for listening.